Hey Jenna, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But we'll go ahead and get started. The three things we'll be going over are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and that is anything you can see on your site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what your pictures are saved as. And Google likes to see about 1,500 words on the homepage of a website. And within those 1,500 words, that gives you all the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching for when they're looking for dumpster rentals. Um, so your website looks fantastic. Uh, the way that everything is laid out is great. It's very user-friendly. It's very organized and easy to kind of navigate. Um, so amazing job there. And it looks like you all have plenty of content as well, which is fantastic. My only suggestion for your site would just be to go through that content and look for places where you can integrate in more keywords. That really helps out a tremendous amount when you're trying to get ranked on Google. So moving on to the next thing, which is citations. And I just did a quick search and typically this is the first thing you'll see. This is called the map pack and citations have a lot to do with that. So a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and really anywhere else that allows a business owner to add in their details. So you would want to check out where your competitors are being listed and you want to grab those listings for your business, but then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you want to grab those 10 and then you want to add another 20, 30, 40. That's going to have you completely dominating them in that space, but it will also help you to rank high on the maps here. So moving along to the next thing, which is backlinks. And backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way that backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site. And it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work with someone who owns an ice cream shop. And they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other dumpster rental companies that send a link back to your site and signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. That's gonna be a lot more powerful, but also more unique because it is relevant to your industry. And I pulled up one of the tools that I use here just so I can give you a visual representation. So it's showing currently you all have 190 referring domains, which are giving you a little over 3000 backlinks getting you found for 90 keywords, and that's driving about 90 people to your site per month. And now here's one of the top competitors. So they have 7.23 thousand referring domains, giving them 59.6 thousand backlinks, getting them found for 218 thousand keywords, and all of this is driving about 214 thousand people to their site per month. So let's take a look at the keywords that they are using. And we're looking for buyer intent keywords. That's gonna be anything that someone thinks to search when they are actually looking for dumpster rental in their area. So let's see. All right, so, and they have so many keywords that I'm really gonna try not to take up too much of your time here or bore you with this. Um, let's see. So right off the top, I'm not seeing anything that's uh, really specific, but let's just say that, um, it was dumpsters Sarasota. That would be a perfect keyword because it's listing the service or industry, and then it's listing that specific location that this company is trying to actually target. Um, you could even do also Sarasota dumpsters. So even though it's basically the same as the last keyword, because it's kind of worded differently, it would still count as a whole new keyword. So you can use variations of the same word or phrase, and it will still um, count for you. So another one, dumpsters for rent, Florida. 
that would be another great one. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to bore you too much with all of these keywords, but I do hope that at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things you would want to integrate into your content. And truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. Um, but as we spoke about earlier, also always adding on to that. That way you are far surpassing whatever your competitors are doing. And that is the kind of thing that will get you on that first page of Google. But that's all I have for you today, Jenna. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like to know more about Dove Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please do contact us. We would love to talk to you about that. But thanks again for your time and you have a fantastic rest of your day.